<laughs> he tries to say, I do all these things, but yet you don't do any of them well. And that's why I just can't get down with Post Malone. I love Post Malone, and he is not overrated because he's one of the only rappers that plays an instrument. He's taking his time with it. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Lots of rappers play instruments. All sorts of rappers play instruments. Look at Boots Riley. He plays like every instrument in the freaking band. Are, are you kidding me right now? Like one of the only few? Because his white parents bought him musical lessons as a kid? Really? Is that where we're going to go with that? Not overrated? First off, Post Malone learned a guitar from Guitar Hero, not his white parents. Then he picked up the guitar by himself. Yes. He taught himself, you know. He learned melodies from that that he incorporates in all of his music. He's above because his melodies are above any other artist right now. <laughs> well, and let me tap out for you, my Thank friend. You. Let me no, tap out for you. <laughs> These melodies he's purchased from people. Like his biggest hit is from 21 Savage working with him. He did not make that. His number one beats are all him working with others. I don't see him laying his own tracks, looping it, you know, getting off Fruity Loop style, mm -hmm. looping himself, putting his own voice over it, playing his little guitar over it, re-looping it. Like he's not doing any of that. He made the beat to White Iverson. Then he recorded himself. Then he engineered it and then he put it out. Next day, made the cover art too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that's cool that he made the cover art too but i mean with white iverson do you really feel like that's like a huge redeeming part of hip-hop culture it didn't have to be it's a hit single that started his career there's so many people that put out music that doesn't start a new generation of hip-hop but it starts their own career which leads to more music that changes it he's leading a wave of uh melodic, country-type, ballad-type music, deja vu, stuff like that. That's not being done by anybody else. Heavy ballad hip-hop, that's all him. What, what do you think Drake is doing, you know? Like, that's not heavy ballad hip-hop. Like, I think even The Weeknd would be considered hip-hop. That's heavy ballad. I mean, White Iverson is like, a joke, right? Like, mm, it's funny, nah. it's funny. The video is funny, nah. the lyrics are funny. I think if you really take a look at it, you'll see that even he is playing with his own music. It's a joke, he's calling himself White Iverson. Nah. He's chubby. No, you don't see that? Nah. Oh, friend. Post Malone is a genuine artist. He don't try to be nobody else but himself. Why is it that when he's a fun-loving dude, it makes him a joke? His music's still the same. His pop structure that he studied is still the same. He still knows how to make hits, and it's been shown from the seven different plaques that he has and more. He knows how to make hits. He puts in the work. He's not a joke. The hits that he's made have been made because he's worked with other people. I think like on the Post Malone team, like Louis Bell would be the MVP. He's writing mm. the most, producing the most, and like really putting the fire under that. Without him, like it ain't happening that way. That's something. Because every artist got a producer behind him. Metro, Zaytoven. That don't mean they're that now rapper. The rapper still goes on tour. The rapper still has fan base. The rapper is all the image. You can't tell me Post Malone don't have image. He wouldn't have made it big had he not been this white chubby rapper who's kind of funny who was invited to a young girl's like birthday party. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see Immortal Technique being invited to anyone's birthday party, KRS-One or whatnot. Like, he, they're just not getting in the door that way. From there, he meets Justin Bieber, you know, like another white teen idol, pop star. And that's what launches his career. Like, I definitely think that makes him overrated. He did not pay dues, make his own beats, slang his own shit. Like, you shook the right hands at the right time because you're a chubby white guy. Why is that wrong? Everybody has a time and a place. He had worked. He already had a stack of songs before he even got to Kylie Jenner's. He had already had hits before he even got to Kylie Jenner's birthday party. He had already had White Iverson out and he had Too Young out at the exact same time. That's two. That's only two because he didn't make anything else for that whole time. Like he didn't drop anything till his album. But those hits were in the first year, which was 2015. He didn't have to do anything else when you have two songs that big that can take off. Why is it bad that he met Justin Bieber at K 
Caitlyn Jenner's birthday party. You making it sound like it's just some random girl. These are big names. He got famous off of putting in the work at the right time, shaking the right hands. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't make him a real artist. For you to even admit that he was shaking the right hands tells me that you know he's overrated. Had he not shook the right hands and had to do the work, and spit the real rhymes and put the real bars down, probably not the same story. You're admitting that yourself by saying he shook the right hands. So first off, you're comparing him to people like KRS-One and different things like that. You gotta know the artist that Post Malone is. He's not a New York rapper. He's from New York, moved to Dallas. That's where he gets all this Johnny Cash in him, where he's playing the guitar and different things like that. That's where he gets the ballast. That's where he gets the Hank Aaron. Don't expect him to be like a KRS-One rapper. He is a hip hop artist, but he's also so much more. That's why I don't think he should be compared as in like, he got to spit the hottest 16 to be known as the best rapper. He's, he's past that. He's way surpassed that. He could never be known as the best rapper because he isn't. The rhymes are funny, you know? Like, you're swagging on me, you're saucing on me. Like, they're definitely not telling any story, breaking anything down. Like, most deaf, Talib, sit down. Like, <laughs> there's no reason to get up right now. <laughs> Don't even worry. For sure he's not going to be the best rapper. That's not even what we're arguing about. Exactly. We're trying to say that he's overrated and that's exactly what it is like you said the rhymes ain't all that he only is big because he shook the right hands like you are even saying that yourself like you are agreeing here if you're really trying to make the argument that he's an awesome artist show me a body of work that's cohesive and conclusive stony stony is not a whole story it ain't painting anything like are you going to really try to hold stony up to like Kendrick Lamar's Damn, or even like Nas's Illmatic, like this is a body of work. That whole album says one thing. It gives me a, a moment of time of that person's perspective. You know, like that is what an artist does. They paint a masterpiece, a picture, everything fits together. It's cohesive to who his artist is. It's not cohesive to a, uh, to Pimp a Butterfly or anything like that, telling a story of, you know, events or telling a story of life, but it's telling his personal situations in a cohesive order. That's why I feel like that album is cohesive to him. Not cohesive in the standpoint of this is the beginning, the middle, and end, but this is where I began and this is where my life is right now. He ain't made it nowhere near his end. He's barely at his middle. He's still telling it. He's definitely like just in the beginning of that, you know, like telling it where it is. And even then, I don't feel like I look at his body of work and say, oh, this is who that person is. You know, like, ah, uh, this, is, this is the stance, this is your voice. You know, what I see is just, you know, I, I took some guitar lessons. I took some, I took some singing lessons over here. You know, I, I bought a, a beat over here, and I'm gonna glue this together. You know, I'm really influenced by basketball. I'm gonna throw this in here. Like, I'm not seeing the artist as a person. I have to say that you are judging Post Malone the wrong way, though. You're looking for an album like damn you're looking for something cohesive when you have to think he has plaques off of hit singles he is a single artist he's deja vu he's uh white iverson you know he's too young he has hits but they're all singles it's not putting together an album that will be at number one mind you his project's been on the billboard 200 for 75 weeks he's been there but it's not saying that he's going to be something of a Drake or a Kendrick. You have to also think of what artist he is and what he can do. Yeah, you keep trying to beat this drum that he's this amazing artist because he plays all these instruments, he's into different genres. And yeah, maybe he's influenced by those things, but that's not where he makes his money. That's not what he's filed under. If his songs are playing on the radio, they're playing on like 92.3. It's, it's doing the hip hop station. And he's even said himself that he's not a hip hop artist. So what does that tell you about his artistic practice. All that is like little bits and pieces melded together. It's not a cohesive piece. He's not, you know, carving out the, the David right now. He ain't painting that Michelangelo cathedral. He ain't. He even said it himself. Post Malone said, I am not a hip hop artist. I am an artist. You can't tell me that you think Post Malone is a hip hop artist. Almost every single song you're going to hear today is going to have triplets. It's going to have a hard snare. It's going to have an 808. Does that make all those other songs hip-hop? No. He 
is not only a hip hop artist when he can do ballads. He has songs that sound almost compared to some country songs, the way he's going about playing the songs. So he can't just be a hip hop artist. He can't just be one thing just because the beat in the background will make you feel like it's hip hop. Every single beat today is hip hop. If he's such a great country artist, why is he not being played on the country music station? He's not being played on the country music station because that's not where his label is putting their direction towards. His label, which is a business, which is looking to make money, is putting it towards the hip hop area because that is what you can solicit him as. The man has face tattoos. You're not gonna get him on the country radio station. <laughs> I think he said when he first picked up the guitar, like his first foray into music was heavy metal even. Mm -hmm. You can have plenty of face tattoos in heavy metal. Why is he not playing on any rock station, any metal station, Pack on it. any metal tour? Pack it. That's not the music he produces. He happens to produce poppy type hip hop, hip hop, hip hop really, right? So if you're saying he's this great artist, why is he not doing all those other genres that he's so flexible in? You haven't waited for any of his other projects. You already said yourself he only has two projects. You already said yourself he only in the beginning. You try to judge what he already made. Don't you feel like he would have to come up and gain some recognition in his label and gain a little bit of money just to have a voice in what he wants to produce and how he wants to produce it? So maybe the next step is that heavy metal because that is how he comes up. He always talks about Metallica. He always talks about Slayer. Maybe that is his next step. If that was his next step, would you still be touting him as, you know, like a, a respectable artist, as you're saying? Like, as he's doing all these different things, but he's only putting out hip hop, I hear you trying to like step on both sides of the, the field right now. You know, you're trying to say like, he's not a great hip hop artist because he does all these other forms of art but yet he don't do any of these other forms of art anywhere because he's doing only hip hop. So which one is it really? Is he really hip hop or is he really all these other things? Because right now he's kind of not doing either one. I want you to know that his first recognition, the first thing people ever saw from him was a YouTube video of him singing a country song. So don't you think that there's something in him that wants to come back to that? I'm saying I'm looking towards the future of Post Malone, knowing that there's going to be more ballads, there's going to be more deja vus, there's going to be more country influence, more heavy metal influence. It's not just going to be all one thing. And that one thing that he does is not just hip hop. His music already has ballads in it. I'm sure you've heard of the term jack of all trades, master of none. That's exactly what I'm hearing right now. You're telling me he kind of does hip hop, but not really, it's really ballad influence. But yet you're waiting for this country project that may or may never drop, that's obviously gonna be full of probably hip hop references. So I'm trying to tell you, like, how does that equal an amazing artist? If you're pulling from here, pulling from there, but yet not creating any masterpiece. I feel like his next project, whatever it is, will not only resemble hip hop influence. Why? Because his last project was Beers and Bentley. You know what I'm talking about? He's not talking about Zans and Lean, or it's not, it's not heavy hip hop references already. So I can already see the progression of where he's going. He's been on tour for a good amount of time. And a lot of his tour, he's brought out different guitars and performed different country songs at these shows. I can see the progression. I see where it's going. I know that the next thing that he's going to do will have a heavily country influence. I mean, yeah, obviously it's going to have a different sort of influence. He's been saying from the beginning that he's not a hip hop artist. Like you said, he's been doing like the country music from the beginning, you know, like he obviously is not like, like I said, the, the lyrics you're saying, no heavy hip hop references. Of course not. The lyrics are soft. Right? Like, they're, they're soft guy <laughs> lyrics. Those are not hard hip hop lyrics. It's never been that way. He just happens to try to market himself in that avenue. Right? Like, why? If you're really an artist, do you. Make it where you feel most comfortable. If your soul speaks country, write a damn fucking country album. You know, grab that guitar. Like, cry your heart out till the cows come home. Like, why are you trying to fucking have all these escalades and, and talk about balling and whatnot if that's not even truly you? Like, What's up with that? Like, that's not even what an artist would truly do. 
That's fake. He's not only one thing. If he likes country, if that's where his influence is, if he grew up in Dallas, Texas for a good amount of his life, that's obviously going to show. So if he also comes back around and does the hip hop side and has face tattoos and has chains and has Bentleys and different things, that's also him. Because at a very young age, he also moved to LA and hopped into all this music influence. He's so many different things, but the talent is already seen. That's why he's not overrated. Because no matter what he does, no matter if it's hip hop, no matter if it's the ballads, no matter what it is, his live performances, he's not overrated. He's proven that many times, and he's only going to prove it more and more. I'm going to have to say, hell no, we won't go with that. <laughs> with Post Malone, he's definitely not a talented artist. He happens to be an individual who's had the opportunities and the privileges to have these opportunities, to, to do the different things with them. As he's been saying at the beginning, he's not a hip hop artist. He's been pushing himself away from that. He loves country, but yet, you know, he met these pop people. I gotta make it work over here. That's exactly why he is overrated. He, he doesn't even know himself as an artist. None of his work that he puts out is completely cohesive. It doesn't say a body of work that is true to him. He tries to say, I do all these things, but yet you don't do any of them well. And that's why I just can't get down with Post Malone. I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree. That's what it is. <laughs> what up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching All Deaf Music.